Hello friends, this is Adiraj and today we are going to learn how to use the Street Commerce Admin Roles and Access extension developed by Winsaw. Do you need to manage specific roles for your Street Commerce store with multiple store administrators but don't know where to start? Our Street Commerce Admin Roles and Access extension comes to the rescue. It is your one-stop solution for all your managerial problems. You can install our extension to create a complete organizational hierarchy to help with managing your Street Commerce store better and more efficiently. You can create different permissions and permission sets according to your use. Then you combine them into a specific role. Finally, you assign a user role to different store administrators to create your complete store hierarchy online. Now let's move over to the GitHub page for free admin roles and access extension which you can access by clicking the link available on our YouTube page below this video. Here you will find all of the information regarding our extension. There is also a Heroku one click deploy button that you can use to play around with the extension. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already deployed the extension on Heroku and logged in with the admin credentials. Here we have the admin backend in front of us. You can access the admin backend by appending admin slash orders to the address of your free commerce store. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how you as a store admin can create other store admins with a few illustrative examples. But first, let's understand about permissions, permission sets and roles. We go to the configuration section and the permissions subsection within it. Here is an exhaustive list of the permissions that are set by default. If you wish, you can create more permissions for your store by following the guidelines available on our extension page and GitHub page. Now let's go over to the permission sets subsection. Combining the permissions you've seen, you create a permission set which will help you with assigning a general list of permissions that you want to attach to a specific role. Here is an exhaustive list of permission sets by default. As with permissions, you can create new permission sets for your store by choosing from different types of permissions. Finally, we go to the role subsection. Here, Combining different permission sets, you create a role specific to your needs. Here you find 7 roles, out of which 3 roles, user, default and admin are already there. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have also created another 4 user roles, product manager, store manager, order manager and promotion manager and I am going to create one more to show you how to create one. I click on the new role button. Now I add the name stocks manager, I, I check admin accessible since this role is going to access the admin side. Now from the management permission section I select default product management and stock management and from the display permission order display and product display and click create. Now let's go over to the user section. Here, I created a set of 5 users apart from the admin and we are going to assign user roles to each one of them. We start with John Michaels. We assign the product manager role to him. Similarly, we assign the role of order manager to Shauna James. Jesus is our promotion manager. Also, Abhishek is our stocks manager. Finally, we select Shady to be our store manager. Now since Abhishek is our stocks manager and we gave the admin access to the stocks manager role, I'm going to log in with Abhishek's credentials to show you how the admin backend looks from his login. Here we have the admin backend as it is visible to Abhishek. Now since we gave him the product management and stock management permissions, the products tab is visible to him. Also, in the Returns tab, Return Authorizations and Customer Returns are available and in the Configurations tab, Stock Transfers and Stock Locations are visible. Also, since we gave him the Order Display permission, Orders tab is visible to him. Now let's go ahead and add a couple of Stock Locations. I click on the New Stock Location button. I fill in the details and click Create. 
In a similar way, I created another stock location. Now let's go ahead and try to create a stock transfer. I click on new stock transfer. I fill in the details and click on stock transfer. Now let's try one last thing before we wrap this up. We try to access slash admin slash users bar with Abhishek's login, but we haven't given the user's permission to him. Let's see what we encounter. In the address field, I've input the slash admin slash users part. Now let's hit enter. As you can see, a disclaimer appears, which means Abhishek cannot access the users tab. Now, all of this information is available on the Spree Commerce admin roles and access page on our website. You can also access the link which is given in the description below. You can also look at some more extensions developed by us at pencil.com slash spreecommerce hyphen extensions. You can also look at some more extensions developed for spreecommerce at spreecommerce hyphen extensions.com. You can also post your issues on the spreecommerce slack marking me at the rate adhiraj that is A-D-H-I-R-A-J. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.